was decided that we would go to Lincoln University by our dad. It was the first of those historically black schools started in 1854 by Quakers and Pennsylvania Dutch for the education of the African people in that part of the North. Stan went out on 64 and I followed 65. The minute I got accepted into school, I got an American accent. It was like finally going out for parole and finally getting some freedom. We hadn't been exposed to a whole lot more in the Bahamas. We experienced visits by Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Stokely Carmichael. We were exposed to some really great minds in the movement that helped to shape how we felt about uh, people of African ancestry in the world. We were exposed to a lot of very powerful people. So it had this great international scope even back then. The second Christmas, he decided we'd be going home to Nassau. We didn't have uh, enough money to fly out. So he figured out a way that we could pinch our pennies and travel by trailways, bus, on US-1, all the way down to Miami. We're traveling through some of the most racist, <laughs> I mean, areas in the US. And remember we went into this first small sort of cafe. It seems like the music stopped and everybody stopped talking, you know, uh, people stopped eating and everybody started glaring at us. So I'm sort of, what can I use for a weapon? Because it's really scary. Jackson turns around and surveys the area and says almost, uh, at the top of his voice, man, this is a one horse town, hey! <laughs> he always liked to push the element a little bit, always liked to tempt fate. 